Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Appa will be uploading minimum four videos every week, namely um, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturday, and Sunday, Malaysian time, 7 p.m. at night. And for the past two and a half years, Appa has uploaded over 600 over, uh, cooking videos and cooking ideas uh, for you to check it out. Okay, um, today Appa is quite happy because I finally found the fish I wanted. This is Ikan Chencharu. I am not exactly sure what is it called in English, but it is very one kind of, uh, should be one, one type of mackerel fish here. It is not ikan kembong, it is not um, the what we call the Indian mackerel. This is another type. So why is this fish, uh, why am I looking for this fish is because this fish has very thick skin. Very thick skin, okay? As you can feel from here, the moment you touch it, very hard, very thick. Now, why is it we need a very thick skin? Because there's this um, local dish in Malaysia called Ikan sambal or stuff, or we can actually call it a stuffed fish also can. Uh, stuffed with what? Stuff with sambal. A fish stuffed with sambal. Okay, so what you do here is basically you open up the top part here, make two slits, right? Make two slits on top after you wash the fish, one on the left, one on the right, then um, just make some. Um, Mix some uh, sambal and put inside the sambal and pan fry. Done. Very nice. It is very, very nice. Okay. So, um, by the way, the amount of some the amount of chili that you're looking at right now is definitely more than enough because whenever it comes to making sambal, I always make more extra so that I can keep it for next round. Um, so whatever you see here, you can cut the ingredient by half because I'm only making two fish, right? This is approximately 20 stalks of dried chili soaked until it is fully softened. Soften. This is one tablespoon of blachan powder. This is uh, two shallot and two cloves of garlic. And we will need a bit of salt, a bit of sugar. That's it. Blend this put it inside that's all remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Appa's video right I got a hand blender here for those who want to know about my hand blender I will put the info inside the description box okay many of you always ask I've been using this hand blender for years very easy to use it's from I think it's from Tafal I'll put the information the detail inside the description box okay and this is the shallot and also garlic this is the blachan powder okay just dry roast your blachan block and then until it is become powder form and I'm going to add some salt And also some sugar. Right. And we are going to add some... I like to add a bit of oil. To ease the blending process. And also some water. Not too much, yeah? <clears throat> Just put in some water. Don't make it too watery. Let me zoom in. Okay. Fast. 
this kind of consistency will be good enough. It's a little bit creamy because I added the oil. Yeah, that's why I added the oil, right? Right, so we have two uh, small pockets here. One on the left, one on the right. All we need to do is to stuff this sambal blachan inside. Like how you will stuff the tofu. Only thing is, we are stuffing chili. <laughs> and this is actually flavored chili, yeah? We added, we already added the, uh, what you call the salt and sugar. Okay, try to make both sides more balance you can cut your fish deeper so that you can put in more chili just use a, a sharper knife will do all right so you want something like this you want something like this let me take a picture Take a picture. Don't know why this fish is super difficult to find. Super hard to find. <coughs> so the fish is nicely uh, stuffed with the sambal. And now we can pan fry it slowly until it is cooked and it is done. We can actually put a sprinkle a little bit of salt on top of the fish. before we pan fry it. So you put a good amount of oil inside here. I'm going to use uh, what we call pan jian zha, uh, half pan fry, half deep fry. And then heat up the oil. And put in the fish. Uh, I must confess the amount of sambal I put in is a lot <laughs> Meaning you don't have to put as much Like I said, you can reduce uh, what I the total amount of chili and ingredient I use just now Just half of it will be enough No need to keep on uh, flipping your fish And one good thing about this fish is having the very thick uh, meat, so um, oh, sorry, thick skin, so the it will actually form a very good protection over the shape of the fish itself. I'll cover it with a lid just to expedite the cooking process. So after about two three minutes, <coughs> I will try to slowly flip it over. We will come back shortly. All right, this is after about three minutes. I'm going to slowly flip the fish over. Uh, wow, look at how beautiful it is. See, that's why you actually need this kind of fish and not other kind of fish. Uh, because it has, only this has a very thick skin, which will definitely help you to keep the shape uh, of the fish even after you have added in the uh, stuffed chili I'm using uh, medium medium to medium low heat to slowly pan fry I'll give the other side another 2-3 minutes then it should be almost done so just saw a, a lot of uh, smoke so I remove I remove the lid. Now this is after another three minutes. The fish is actually almost ready for sure.
almost done. Just give it another one minute, then I will just I will serve it. Very simple. All right, so here's my uh, stuffed sambal fish. Chincharo, ikan chincharo stuffed with sambal. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.